Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to write a SQL query in which we are going to sort the output data in a custom order. Which means let's say we have a table called dim products and we want to order the data by product ID but not in an ascending or a descending manner which are our default options. Instead, let's say I want to have helmets at the top which has a product ID of 3 followed by let's say headsets which has a product ID of 5 followed by scooters which has a product ID of 2 followed by let's say knee pads, gloves and bikes. For example, let's also say that these values are going to be passed in as a parameter value. So we are going to define a variable to collect this parameter value and we are just going to call it as sort order. So now we have collected the values of the specific custom sort order in a variable called sort order. Now how can we use it in our query to order by in this manner? To do that we are going to use another function called the string split function. So we have the value from and we're going to use the function string split. The string split function can split this string value, a delimited string value based on the delimiter. So we are going to pass this variable value for the string split function. We are going to define a delimiter, which is a comma. And now we are going to define another argument, which is the ordinal. So we are going to pass a value of one as a third argument to the string split function, which will allow us to collect the value for the output ordinal from the string split function, which basically generates a row number for the split substrings from the delimited string. So if we are going to run this query simply, what we're going to get is, okay, pasting it at the top and rerunning, what we are going to get is the delimited substrings and the order in which they occur in this string. So now we know the order in which these product IDs occur in this sort order string. So what we are going to do now is join our dim products table to this subquery which gets its output from the string split function and let's just say table sort and we are going to join on the product ID. So product ID from the product table and from the table sort we have the product ID value coming in in the value output. And lastly, I'm going to add an order by clause and I'm going to order by the ordinal values, which is going to make sure that my output is in the custom order that I desired. So let's execute the query. And now we can see that the output is in the order which we specified in our custom sort order string. We don't need these two columns in the output. So we I'm just going to take all the columns from the dim product table and execute my query again. So this is a simple trick in which you can custom sort your output data from a table in SQL Server. I hope this video was useful. If it was, then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next video.